Kano State Hisba Board has said the sale, consumption, and possession of alcoholic substances are prohibited in the state, though not made illegal by the Nigerian Constitution. In an interview with Sarah Reporters on Monday, Assistant Commander of Kano Hisba, Nabahamine Usman, said Section 100 of the Nigerian Constitution confers on each state the powers to enact laws that will suit their purpose and interests. He said the law is binding on anyone, whether Muslims or non-Muslims, as long as the person stays in Kano State. He added, Kano State Penal Code 2004 prohibits the sale and distribution of all alcoholic substances in the state. If you are found to be selling, consuming, or dealing in any alcoholic substances in Kano, irrespective of who you are, you are affected by the law. So whether the person is a Muslim or a Christian, as long as you are in Kano, you are affected by the law. If I go to Anambra and there is a law in place, I have to comply with it. He said the population of non-Muslims in Kano are over 1 million and areas that are dominated by Christians are not usually disturbed by men of the Hizba board. If you go to Sabungari, they buy and drink whatever they want and nobody disturbs them at all. It's a different state up there. In Kano, along, along Igbo Road, Awusa Road, Yoruba Road, you cannot count the number of beer sellers in those uh, places and it is sold openly, but we don't disturb them. Go at night. You will see so many people enjoying themselves drinking. In fact, we warn our men not to go to Sabungari to arrest beer dealers. They should not go there to arrest. We know our Christian brothers and sisters are there and we don't want to disturb or create anything that will generate disturbance in the state. Speaking of the, on the case of a Sivanos Mba, a Christian beer seller, who was arrested and assaulted by his bar officials. The assistant commander general of the body likened the sale of alcohol in Kano to smuggling. He said, if you are smuggling and you get arrested in the process, at the end of the day, you lose that thing. But if you are lucky to smuggle it to Sabungari, you are free. At Sabungari, some of our people even go there to drink. When you are arrested, you are charged to court. The court will try to confiscate the items, sentence you and fine you. They don't even detain people. They only, they only collect the beer products and fine you between 1,000 Naira and 5,000 Naira and you are free. He said there were many cases similar to that of Mba and that, and that Mba's case was no exception. Mba, a beer dealer and owner of Siva Tavern along Igbo Road in Kano was arrested and detained alongside one of his sons by the state Islamic police, Hizba. Sarah reporters had earlier reported how Mba, his sons and workers were beaten by Hizba officials after which the alcoholic beverages he had stocked to sell were confiscated. He was said to have been forced to plead guilty. It was learned that he and his son were later given an option to pay a fine of 40,000 Naira each or go to jail for four months. Okay. Well, if all these laws are there, that is it. If all these laws are there, I don't think, uh, and they, they really take it so serious like this, this issue of alcohol. If they, they really take it so serious, I'm sure all of this is killing because to, just to drink, which one is even... Uh, uh, worse than to take people's life this this so-called bandit uh, here and there well i think uh, just like they said for that particular state or area if you know that uh, you are not comfortable what you need to do just jelly mm -hmm. leave it there's a law guiding every every community every state every country so if that is what they are doing and they take it so seriously because in some places there might be some laws, but they will not take it to heart. Enforcing it might be a problem. But if you know that uh, you are that type of person that uh, this law is not going to move for you, the best thing is just to leave there and go to a place or uh, places where they accommodate what you like and which they will not accommodate there. I think that's the best thing. But to me, I believe if really they can really put effort in all of those other vices that are really troubling the people, I'm sure this uh, the, the place would have been a better place. And generally it is like that. It is like that. If we all can obey laws and do them, I know 
um, uh, 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 work in those, you know, work and just make sure that everything will work fine. You know, we will not be having problem, but we like to we want to eat our cake and have it as well. This is why I said laws are meant for the poor. I believe if you go to Ganduje's office, there's a lot of exotic wines in the, in his fridge, but depriving the poor from drinking. But yet, blind northerners will keep supporting him. Keep deceiving yourself. There shouldn't be noise here. Other states can legalize alcohol, prostitution, homosexual, ritualism, and courtism. Nigeria constitution never banned any state not to formulate law. If any law sail through, says through in any state or uh, house of assembly, it means majority love it. Be democracy is all about majority. Law banning alcohol in Plato Benry Taraba can't pass first reading in the house of assembly. Okay. Of those states, despite having Muslims there, majority love alcohol and make it as food in those states. Eighty percent of people in Kano don't take alcohol. Other states can decide to subsidize it to the people. We are glamouring for restructuring. Is this how we will be making noise by the time every state table what they want? Hmm. Good. Now let's each go back to their states of origin. Pull your state legislatures. And governors by the years to draft state constitution as suitable to indigents. No fighting. If you can't abide by Kano Sharia constitution, please vacate. Vacate. Kano is declared as a Sharia uh, state already. I think that's it. And you are collecting proceeds from alcohol as tax. Everything is just upside down in the north. And just recently, the wrongful wrongfully demolish someone's building for something they were not even sure of and later foolishly say it's against government plan a uh, master plan <laughs> oh my goodness oh my goodness is unfortunate really we are the architect of our own problem i don't even know why some parts are afraid of restructuring let each state of region control or region control regulate whatever suits them instead of keeping keep pretending that we are one the constitution is supreme to any other laws whereas is a pure light deceit and more confusion but if you restructure and allow everybody to operate at his own space i believe that will solve some of a, a problem well i think the most important thing since uh, other states too, they have their own law that they put in place, just that uh, maybe they are not really anti-social people or anti-people like that. So, if you, believe, if you think that uh, that place is not conducive for you or is not okay for you, just go to a place that is will be okay. And if the majority of the people, and if you think that that's where your area, since the majority of people have agreed about it, uh, you just have to apply, abide by that. So guys, let's have your take in the comment section. Thank you.